Hello guys, today we will make this simple rig to animate a 2D car, a grease pencil car. This file, the final file, is available on Gumroad for download if you want to support the channel for just $3 along with other rigs and other stuff uh, and everything is attached to tutorials on this channel. You can either follow the tutorials for free and make awesome stuff or you can also support the channel and download some files from Gumroad. So uh, let's start with the tutorial. So first we hit Shift A, Armature, Single Bone, go here to Edit Mode and we start creating our armature. Okay, so this first bone, we will put it here, GZ, like this. Let's enable this guy here, put the bones in front so we can always see them. And F2, rename it to Body. Then duplicate this bone, so select it, shift D, duplicate it here. And we will only move this guy here. Let's test it here in this menu here that you can access by hitting N. So here we have the head and the tail and their positions. So I want this one to be horizontal. So I want to move this guy. So we check here, it seems it's the X that can move the bone this way and the Z that can move the way the bone this way okay so we move it here and then we copy the Z from the head this is the head control C to the Z of the tail and this is the tail of the bone V enter for some reason um, the rotation here changed the roll here so we change it back to zero we make this bone a little bigger so g x to move it on the x axis only we duplicate this bone again shift t this will be the main car bone g x make it a little bigger and then we duplicate this one now first let's rename the bones this one f2 name it on wheels and this bone we name it simply car this is the main bone that we parent all the other bones to and then this one control D to duplicate it put one here and then duplicate again and put one here so rename this one F2 wheel dot front and this one F2 wheel dot back or anything like that okay now we do some parenting so we want to parent this one select it and then shift select this one and then shift select this one so the one you want to parent to you select it last and then control p make parents keep offset okay so now these two bones are parented to this one and these two bones need to, to be parented to this one so that this bone can move or rotate this wheel this bone does the same for this wheel and this bone will control both wheels we select this one shift select and then shift select control p keep offset and here we are okay very nice this is our rig let's rename it to car rig here and we can go back to object mode what we do now is select the car and then shift select the bones and then do parenting again control p set parent to armature the form with empty groups so this one and now we select only the car and we go to uh, vertex groups here we need three bones to deform the car that are this one this one and this one we remove this vertex group and we remove the wheels vertex group now we go to weight paint mode and to our layers we enable auto lock in active layers it is enabled so we select the wheels layer we select the wheel back vertex group and we paint this wheel zoom out to be able to paint bigger chunks of the wheel it's done then wheel front and we paint the other wheel and now we need to paint the whole body so we select body and we unlock all the other layers except 
the wheels there so here we are our rigging is done now back to object mode let's go here let's click here and then select our armature and then hit control tab on the keyboard here we are in pose mode as you can see we can test this so this bone moves the car this bone moves the wheels this bone can move the rear wheel and can rotate it and this bone does the same for the front wheel this bone will move the whole car as you can see but if you notice something here when you hit r and start rotating the wheel it behaves like some bad wheel you might want it to look like this cartoony and uh, imperfect but um a perfectionist somewhat so i want this bone or this ball here to be in the absolute center of the wheel this will be the hardest thing in this tutorial so we will do it but before we do that and before i forget i don't like the quaternion mode here in rotation so we will change it to xyz earlier we changed the other one here also and also i want to check uh, which axis does the bone rotate on it seems it's the x so i will just lock the other two and keep only the x and do it for this one too so let's test it yes it works fine also i want this bone to be able to move just vertically and not horizontally so we check it i think it's the z so i'm gonna lock the y and x and see yes it works i'll do the same for this one it's the y so i'm gonna lock the x and z we can do the same i think here for uh, it seems it's the z so lock the x and y and do the same here test them yes they work very well now back to object mode select the car and we want to find the absolute center of the wheel so we go to draw mode we select the box tool here to draw a square uh, we change radius to one we create a new layer above all the other layers we call it square or squares and then make sure under strokes that you are enabling 2d layers and not 3d layers so that uh, our square is visible to us and then we hit shift to draw a perfect square and draw a square roughly as uh, big as the wheel very nice hit enter and then we go to edit mode uh, with our squares layer selected we hit a to select it all and try to make it fit our wheel so g you can hit shift to make your movements more slow and precise what's strange is that we drew uh, circles for the wheel but it's not a perfect wheel let's duplicate our square shift d and then hit x to move it on the x axis only and move it here to the other wheel and now we go to our wheels layer and try to fit the wheel to our square let's move this like this so we can zoom on the wheel we can hit g and then hit shift and move it like this let's hit s and resize it a bit let's hide the rig seems okay to me now we go to the other wheel hit shift and uh, middle mouse button and then you can select the other wheel and hit g shift and try to move it a little bit and then we hit s to resize it a bit again g shift you don't have really to be this precise i think it's a little bit narrower on the x so we hit s to resize and x to resize only on the x axis and then shift to move it just a little bit okay now back to our squares layer and now we will select um, both squares by hitting a you see that there are no vertices in the middle so we will subdivide right click subdivide and now i want to make just half a square here so we select these and then these three only and then shift select these and then xd to dissolve again here you see that it's not divided so we select this line only and then shift select this one and then right click subdivide 
and here we can select the lower parts of both squares and hit x d to the solve and now we have this little square and this part here will be the absolute center of our wheel now we go to object mode enable our rig make it visible go to edit mode make sure you are in edit mode and not in pose mode you need to uh, change your bones positions in edit mode and hit this button here it's called x-ray mode so that we can move our bone more precisely so we select only this bone zoom in and move it with G very nice now it is almost certainly in the absolute center of the wheel select this one in G and move it here you can hit shift 2 to make <laughs> the process more and more and more precise and now you can hide your squares let's go back to object mode let's hide these squares here or delete them all together let's select our rig and go to pause mode control tab and now if we rotate using r you see that there's still some how do we call it <laughs> but it's much better than previously very nice and now we will do a simple animation to conclude this tutorial this is the top sheet we are on frame one and we want to rotate the wheels and we want to do a movement with the body too so here hit i on the keyboard selects uh, rotation to create a keyframe here for rotation and then we do the same here i rotation and for this one we want location and scale i location and scale and now we go to uh, frame number 25 so in frame 25 i want to rotate this bone and this bone so instead of zero i just want to type here 360 that's it very simple we do the same here 360 and if you check here you see that the wheel turn 3 and 60 degrees for this guy here I want to duplicate the movement to frame number 25 so we select this frame shift D and duplicate it here and then we go in the middle here like in frame uh, 14 and hit G move it a little bit down and then hit S Z so we resize on the Z axis to make a bouncing effect and this is our animation this is our car rolling and rolling and rolling let's go here to action editor and rename it car roll enter and now we go to non-linear animation and we hit this button here to push down our animation and then we hit end to bring up this menu here we hit strip here and go down action clip previously i used to uh, change this from 25 to 24 but then i discovered that uh, blender will remove the 25th frame how to prove that if we repeat this animation 11 times like this and then you do a little calculation 11 multiplied by 25 to 175 but you can see if you go here to frame 264 it's almost the end 65 64 it's not 275 11 multiplied by 24 frames that is 264 so we change this to uh, 264 and voila here we have a repeating animation for uh, 264 frames let's play it and see there is a problem with the wheels they turn and then they slow down the stop almost and then that is not what we want but this is easily fixed so select this guy here we hit tab and then we go back to the top sheet here and we select our two bones here for the rotation we select them here and then right click and in interpolation mode we change from bezier to linear okay that's it back to a non-linear animation we click anywhere except in here and then we test our animation again 
voila it works beautifully the car is rolling and rolling and rolling so this was our tutorial uh, if you want to purchase this car it's for three dollars on gumroad it's in this description check check my other files there my other rigs there's a lot of cool stuff thank you for watching and see you later in another video peace